Hi. So again we have one more puzzle. In this puzzle we have few circles and those circles are joined by certain lines. As you can see, this circle and this circle are joined with this circle by these two lines. Similarly, this circle is also joined by these two lines to these two circles and it is actually joined with four circles. It has this link, this link, third link and this is the fourth link. Right? So you can see it is actually a kind of net of circles which are joined by certain lines. Right? In the first row, if we call this as row number one, here we have four circles. Right? In the row number two, we have three circles. And then we have two circles in row number three. And in the last, which is row number four, we have only one circle. First row, we are starting with four circles. But as we are going down, number of circles are reducing by one every time. We also have few numbers written over the circles. Here we have one, two, three, four. But the first number over here is not five. And we have to find a number over here. Then this number is seven. Then this number is eight. And again we have to find a number over here. And the last number is 20. So what is the logic behind the numbers written over the circles? First row, if we see properly, it doesn't have any complications. It starts from one. The second circle has number two. Third circle has number three. And the fourth circle has number four. Right? Till now, the logic is very simple and very clear. Confusion starts from row number two. The first circle of the second row is having number three. And it is linked with this circle and this circle. Yes, and if we add these two numbers, the numbers written over the circle, we are getting three, isn't it? And here we have a question mark. So let's not talk about this right now. Let's talk about this 7 over here. Yes, it is also we are getting in the similar fashion. We are adding these two numbers which are linked with the circle. That is 3 and 4. And if we add 3 and 4, we are getting 7. Right? So what about this question mark? It is linked to this circle and this circle, right? These are two links, upward. We have to see upward linkings. Here, see in this three also, we haven't seen, we haven't talked about this linking. We will talk about it later. Right now, we are talking only about upward linkings. Upward linkings means the circles of second row, how they are joined, how they are linked with the circles of the first row. So this circle is linked with these two circles. First circle is carrying value 2 and the second circle has value as 3. So what we have to do? We have to add them. So what is 2 plus 3? 2 plus 3 is 5. And there is a checkpoint. If this value is correct or not, there is a checkpoint over here. The value written on this circle should be the sum of the values of these two, these two circles. So what is 3 plus 5? 3 plus 5 is again 8. So this value, this 5 which we have recently found is correct. Right? Now what about this question mark? Yes, all of you know this will be the sum of 5 and 7. So what is 5 plus 7? 5 plus 7 is 12, right? So let me write over here. And what about this circle? We just have to check whether 12 
plus 8 is 20 or not. So let's add 12 and 8. So 12 plus 8, 2 plus 8, 10, 0 over here, 1 will go up as carry forward, 1 plus 1 is 2. So what is the value? 20 and that is what is written over here, right?